think I've always been fascinated in the way buildings are put together on a detail level and then how buildings as a group can start to form what becomes our urban fabric. I think architectural photography or taking the architectural photography courses at the university have definitely made me look at buildings a different way, it's made me look at skylines and details and textures a different way, and it's made me a more well-rounded observer. I use a 35 millimeter Nikon. Uh, it was actually my dad's. The light meter is broken, so I have to use an app on my phone. Um, but I didn't want to do anything to the camera yet since I wanted to leave it as kind of a timepiece from my father. It is original to the early 70s and when I use it I feel connected through the machine to him. A photograph as an image can be something that's graphically appealing by itself, but I think it also helps us as architects to look at buildings in a different way, either aesthetically or materially, at a detail or at a composition. Sometimes looking at a still that's taken through someone else's perspective, or even your own, can be helpful. What I love about being in the dark room is the isolation of not knowing how fast time is going by outside or thinking about anything else, but just the seconds that your paper is in the chemical or the time that you're exposing your paper to the light. It's a very focused process where you kind of lose sight of everything else except for what's in front of you in the dark. As a student and a student of architecture, it's really easy to get sucked into your own design and photography is a way to step out of it and look at what's around you and to really be aware of the design and the building and the craft that's come before you. And looking at it through the lens and then looking at it appear on paper is a slow process that is really rewarding in the end, but also allows you to step away from what you're doing and look at the bigger picture. Mm -hmm.